stock body, stock wheels. Fully built, 2.6. It's making 796 to the wheels. Hey, real quick before we start this video, a lot of you guys have been asking for team shirts. Finally, Auto House has t-shirts, so it would really help out a lot if you supported the shop, got some merch, some shirts, stickers, support the media work, support me and my dog. Check out that merch store so I don't starve, you guys. All right, my new friend Casey, who was at our hotel last night, um, totally unassuming car. And I don't mean that disrespectfully at all, but you know, stock body, stock wheels, yep. but then you open the hood and I'm like, oh my God, is this like even the same car? Uh, <laughs> it's the same block, right? Fully built, 2.6. Uh, it's making 796 to the wheels. Obviously got rid of the individual throttle bodies, just one single. Got a precision, 64, 66. Have a, well, this is one of my favorite pieces, the 2.6 uh, engineering power steering. Um, I guess new pump and bracket and all that. Mm. Um, just cleans it up a lot. I think this sock one's pretty ugly, so there you go. Um, that's a tucked radiator, so that's pretty cool. That's the only way to really fit these big fans in there. Um, it's kind of cool, the fills on the front. Boosterless, boosterless. That boosterless. Yeah, it. my legs getting to work out today for sure. What made you? What made you want to go boosterless on this car? Um, I don't know. I had it out. I just said screw it. It's out. The engine's in. There's not much room to really work there anymore. So. As far as um, drivetrain to handle 700 horse, what, do you have anything done to like the diff or the transfer case? Um, trans? I'm running the R34 jet rag, six speed. <laughs> Stock, rear end, stock, front tip, all that. My jaw just about dropped into the other get rag in here. Yeah. God damn. Damn! Do you own a shop or anything? Like, no? Did you, did you like build this yourself? Um, I got a buddy back in Arizona. He builds high horsepower Supras, so he did the motor build. Um, Do you want to give his uh, put, shop name a shout out? Um, he's just kind of his one one man show. Interesting. Uh, his name's Albert Mead, uh, but he's got a personal 1200 horsepower Mark III. He's built plenty of other high horsepower Supras. But yeah, so we did that. You know, I, I put everything in here, assembled most everything. Adam from Right Hand Drive Auto Design, he did all the um, fabrication and a lot of the work there too. There's an EGT sensor for every single runner. Yep. The exhaust. Yep. So can we talk about management and then like harness for this guy? Yeah, so I'm using a Link G4. It's a pretty old one to run the EGTs. We're running a ECU Master uh, EGT to can setup. We have a custom wiring specialties harness, so it's pretty cool. You can't really see much of it. I mean, back there a little bit, but a lot of it's tucked. What baffling system do you have for the valve covers? So uh, the valve covers come with their own baffling system, and that basically runs you know, the full length. Um, I haven't had too much issues with blow-by. I know some other guys I've talked to, they're like, yeah, they fill up their can every time, but it's staying pretty empty. Is this a return to sump setup, or is this? No. Oh, yeah. I do have the oil drain in the back going back to the sump. Oh, uh, okay. Of the that might be all better. Okay. Who makes these valve covers again? Uh, HyperTube. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. And then I see uh, for your intercooler, it's like it looks like it's deep everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. You know, I think this is the only thing not not be banded. But that's, <laughs> yeah. that's fine. Oh man. Yeah, and this exhaust, just three and a half. It's stainless going down. It connects uh, titanium. TI exhaust custom or is it uh a... It was custom. I found it on Yahoo Japan actually. So oh, as far as it, there's no markings on it, I think it was just a custom build over there. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's actually one of my favorite pieces of the car. Cool, cool. Do you have anything else that's like noteworthy or like you want to show off on the car? Um, well, we got Evo Brumbos there, which they, I don't know if you can squeeze in, there's like a paper thin. Yeah. Oh, from the they, factory wheel? <laughs> yeah, oh, they barely. Man squeeze in there yeah uh, yeah considering for uh, people who don't know these are 16s so yeah 
Oh, this guy. Uh, I got uh, this carbon center panel in there. Oh, wow. That's from Garage Yoshida. That was like, it took them like 12 months to build and deliver that from. Oh, man. Like, when it actually came in the mail, I kind of forgot I ordered it. <laughs> uh, are the seats reupholstered? No, the seats, these are just a cover. Oh, okay. Um, God, Even the I back seats? Who makes them. Yeah, the back seats. Mm. So they actually took. 15, 20 minutes to put on. It's oh, cool! Really easy. They Do you know the company who makes the seats? Um, seat covers? No, but they're like 300 bucks on Right Hand Drive Japan. You can find them. They're oh, like man. the only ones on there. So unassuming on the outside. Do you yeah. have any like exterior modifications at all? No. This is the beginning of our room. Your session is starting in less than three minutes. Oh my god. Oh, is that you? Oh, yeah. oh okay. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, Casey's up, but um, I really appreciate your okay. time, man. Thank cool. you. Thanks for yeah, showing. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs>